Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome back to our How to Create Your Own Cryptocurrency series. Now in this episode, we are actually going to be mining our custom cryptocurrency and what we're going to be doing here is really temporary just so that we can get used to how to mine our coin and maybe send a few transactions. But this is generally just going to be a temporary process and later on in uh, later episodes, we will be setting up permanent nodes. Uh, so just keep in mind that the process you're about to see is just temporary uh, so that you can actually start mining your coin. So what you want to do is come over to your Oracle virtual machine box. And if you remember from the last few episodes, we had our Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. So we're going to actually clone this because in order to mine our coin, we're going to need two wallets open at the same time. Uh, that's sort of like a necessity of things like Litecoin and Bitcoin is that there's multiple uh, full nodes active. So uh, we're going to actually clone this virtual machine. Now, the first thing you want to do before you clone it is actually click on it and go to settings. And this is very important. You want to go to a network here and you will see here for the adapter that it says attached to NAT. What we want to do is actually select bridged adapter and uh, you want to make sure that the name here is set to your actual uh, the adapter that's actually controlling your internet. So like ethernet or whatever. So make sure you click the one that you are actually using, but uh, it should default on on its own. So you shouldn't really have to change it, but just make sure. Uh, so you want to make sure it's bridged adapter and hit OK. And we're going to actually clone this right now. So you want to right click, hit clone, and uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to name mine clone in all capitals just so I know uh, for certain when I'm in the clone VM. Uh, and then very important here with the MAC address policy, you want to make sure that you hit generate new MAC addresses for all network adapters. So make sure you hit that um, that address policy. Otherwise, this process will not work. I promise you. All right. So hit next and uh, you can uh, do. Let's see here. A full clone versus a linked clone. Um, let's just do a full clone. I think it's fine. Hit next and current machine state is fine and uh, hit clone and it will clone the uh, the virtual machine and I'll be right back when this is done. All right, so as you can see, the clone has been successfully cloned. And uh, what you can do now is actually start up both of these. Uh, we're only going to be working on the clone one for right now, but later on in this video, we're going to be switching to the original. So you can just power up both right now just to, to save you some time. So I'm going to power up the clone and power up the main. And uh, this is going to take a second probably, so I'll be right back when both of these are, are launched. All right, so we're inside of the cloned virtual machine. And again, make sure that you're in the cloned one. And you can see up here in the top left corner that it does say that we are in the clone. It should say the name of the one that you're running. Uh, so make sure you're in the clone one right now. And what you wanna do is first go to your home directory. And what we're gonna do, by the way, just I should preface, is we're gonna set up the, uh, the cloned uh, virtual machine as a server. So it's like gonna be like the server side uh, full node that we will be connecting to, essentially. In the real world, you'd, you would be doing this on a, a VPS or some sort of like server somewhere. Uh, and I'll be showing you how to do that in another video, but again, this is just temporary. So anyway, go to uh, your home directory here by going to files. And uh, we want to get our secret folder here for our coin. If you remember last time, uh, we can hit Control H on your keyboard. That's Control H, and that should show you the secret files here. And you want to find the dot techno coin or dot whatever the name of your coin is folder. Open that up, and we want to actually delete everything in this uh, in this uh, folder because this is it cloned all the files over from our original virtual machine. And we actually want a completely new wallet, uh, a new like separate wallet that is not the exact same as our original virtual machine. So if we delete all these files, that will generate a, a new uh, user wallet, I believe. So uh, you can right click and just move to trash. All right, but what we do need to do now that this uh, .technocoin folder is empty is we need to actually add a uh, configuration file. So you can do that. Uh, if you don't have um, create new file, what you can do instead is go over here to the search, the show applications, uh, find, where is it? Text editor. This is kind of clunky, I know. Uh, let's just type in here real quickly. Uh, save, and then let's save this to desktop. And we're gonna name this 
uh, the name of your coin. So techno coin. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Uh, that is not what I wanted to type in. Go to desktop and then in name. Again, you want to name it techno coin or whatever the name of your coin is, and then dot conf. So dot c o n f, and hit save. And hold on, let me just throw this. So we have this file here on our desktop. Throw it in your dot techno coin folder in your home directory. And now we can actually edit it. So right click, open with text editor. All right, so again, make sure you have a, uh, a dot conf file uh, that is the name of your coin inside of your uh, dot techno coin or whatever the name of your coin is folder. Now inside of this uh, file here, we're gonna set up um, some settings to make sure that we're running this as a server. So first thing you wanna type is just server is equal to one. Uh, then right below that, we can do RPC user is equal to user. And then below that, finally, we can put RPC password is equal to, and then your password. So in my case, password. And this is just going to, this is just some like boilerplate stuff to really um, make sure that this is running as a server so we can connect to it from our main virtual machine. So uh, now that that's done, I believe just save and you can exit out of all of this. And now the last thing we need to do in here uh, before we head over to our original main virtual machine is come up to your uh, your power off symbol here and go to settings, or you can also search settings in the uh, show applications down here. And you wanna go to this section right here that says network and go over to wired. And mine says connected 1000 uh, millibytes per second. And uh, you can hit the, uh, the settings option or icon there. And uh, you wanna copy your IPv4 address. So we're gonna be using this in the uh, main original virtual machine. So you can write this down somewhere or you can just keep this open, but we are gonna need this, uh, this IPv4 address uh, in a second. So I'm just gonna minimize this window and I'm going to open up now our main virtual machine. So now I am inside of the main virtual machine. And again, you can see up here that says Ubuntu. This is the original virtual machine with our original coin on it. And inside of here, what we're gonna do is again, same sort of process except without deleting the files. Go to your files, uh, little application here. Go to um, Control H on your keyboard to sh uh, show hidden files. Go to .technocoin or whatever the name of your coin is. Uh, and instead of deleting all these things, you wanna keep them here because again, this is our original wallet, but we are gonna make another uh, .conf uh, configuration file. So again, for some reason, I don't have an option on here to uh, create a new document, so I'm gonna have to do it that clunky way again. So go to applications, go to text editor. I'm just gonna write some, some random letters in here, save, and I'm gonna save to my desktop. And again, name it the name of your coin. So, oh, not in there, in name. Uh, technocoin.conf save and okay and I'm gonna throw this dot conf again in our dot technocoin folder in the home directory so now I'm actually gonna open it with text editor and we can actually edit this uh, information so this is going to be the um, like a wallet just a regular wallet connecting to um, to the uh, to the server. Now the thing is in the real world, when you when I show you how to set this up um, on a like VPS or some sort of like dedicated hardware, uh, you would actually have these node, these seed nodes, the, um, the like address to these nodes would be stored in the code. And uh, we, if you remember earlier, we actually deleted those nodes, uh, the default ones for Bitcoin. We would actually add it to that, but we haven't set that up yet. Obviously we don't have any like official seed nodes yet and this is temporary. So we're just making this config file just so that we can do it temporarily. Uh, so what we're gonna put here is we're going to type add node equal to, and then you're gonna paste in the IPv4 address from your cloned virtual machine, the one I just showed you. So if we go back to that cloned virtual machine real quick, remember we got this IPv4 address, you are actually going to copy this in to uh, your, main, uh, your main virtual machines configuration file. I know that's super confusing, but uh, what I can do here is let me open up the main one and then I will bring this one minimized over. So, uh, Add note, I'm gonna have to type this IPv4 address here. So 192.168.1.184. So 192.168.1.184. And let me just make sure that that's correct. 192.168.1.184. Perfect, okay, cool. So once you have matched up, again, 
uh, your cloned VirtualBox's IPv4 address to your main uh, virtual machine's config file, then you can save. And again, this is just temporarily adding a node. Uh, if you wanted to like have your friends use their wallet, they would have to do this process as well right now. But again, in the future, we will be uh, hard coding all of this, so you won't have to worry about any of this. Uh, but yeah, once you have this done, you can save, exit out of here. And now we're pretty much done. We can actually launch our wallet and it should, for the first time ever, this is super exciting, I know, um, sync to the blockchain. So let's first go to our clone because that is the, uh, the server side node. Um, so go over to your cloned virtual machine and you wanna go to your terminal and you want to CD desktop, CD into your coin folder. So CD techno coin. And uh, if you remember in the last episode, we made we actually compiled the wallet. Again, if you don't remember how we did that, you would type Q make, uh, hit enter. And then after that's done, you would type make, and that would generate um, this application here, technocoin-qt. That is our, our uh, graphical application, our wallet. So to, to actually run this again, we do period slash technocoin-qt. But uh, I'm actually, because I don't wanna do anything on the main uh, blockchain just yet. I'm going to run the test net and do all of this on the test net. So I recommend you do that as well, just in case things go wrong. You don't want to mess up your your main blockchain. So uh, dash test net is what we'll add as a flag so that we are running the test net. And there we go. It is on. Now, as soon as you can see here, it says, uh, let me have this zero active connections. Uh, now, as soon as we open the other wallet on the main, um, the main uh, um, virtual machine, uh, can't talk today, I guess, uh, this should actually switch to one active connection. So let's go to our main virtual machine. And we, got, we have to do the same process. So go to terminal, uh, you want to CD desktop, uh, oops, it's capital, CD your coin. Um, and then again, if you haven't already, QMake and then make, and then you should have technocoin-qt in there. So period slash technocoin uh, dash qt and then again dash testnet and there we go look right here you can see that it actually says one active connection to technocoin network so this is super exciting basically it means that there is one other wallet or full node out there that is actually syncing uh, and connecting with your your wallet here now if you haven't like if the last time you you generated that genesis block in the previous episode was a long time ago it's going to take a while to actually synchronize the network um so just be aware of that but it will it will synchronize eventually so it's not a big deal uh and we haven't actually mined any coins yet or any any blocks really so um th nothing's going to happen until you start mining so just keep that in mind but if you see this one active connection on both here uh, both virtual machines and that means you did everything great and your cryptocurrency is actually working perfectly so now on your main or your, on your main virtual machine in order to actually start mining coins you're mining the first ever coins of your blockchain you want to go up to help debug window and go to console and uh, to actually mine using your cpu because again this is a, a new coin so it should be a very low difficulty you can actually type set generate and true and uh, before I enter this, you can also add in um, the amount of cores you want to use. Or, uh, but I, I'm only going to use one uh, because I just this is just I'm just testing. I'm not actually trying to like speed mine my coin. But set generate true, and that will start mining your coin. And uh, it's again, it's random if it finds the uh, if it solves the crypt cryptographic pu puzzle for a proof of work. So uh, it's going to take a, a little while. It might take anywhere from like couple of seconds to a couple of minutes who knows it might take an hour you never really know um, it all just depends on the randomness so I will see you guys in a second when we actually mine a block all right so as you can see um, not only did we fully synchronize um, with the blockchain and you can see that here with this little check mark but uh, we do actually have 50 vision so we mined 50 vision uh, which means that we did find a block and we mined it um, and again, this is all based on the rewards that you set and um, how often it'll have and all of that stuff, all the difficulty uh, that we set in the previous episodes. But again, if you remember, uh, I mentioned that there was a specific value um, called like a maturity balance. Um, 
and essentially that that number that we set that's the number of blocks that you need to mine in order to actually spend the coins that you minted so i believe we set ours to like 10 or 25 i don't really remember it's been a long time but uh, let's assume that we set, set it to 10 that like coinbase maturity value uh, that means you'll have to mine 10 blocks um, before you can spend any of your coins any of the coins that you you minted so um this these 50 vision we uh, we just mined we're gonna have to mine nine more blocks before we actually can spend these but uh once you have done that once you have um mined as many as you want you can s totally send these coins to that um other wallet that you have set up right now on your your cloned uh, wallet you can have them send coins to you uh that should all work perfectly um, but again, just remember that these are immature right now because um, they have not met the uh, the Coinbase maturity value that you set in the previous few episodes. So if you don't remember what you set for that, go back. But um, this is going to keep mining using your CPU uh, forever until you either close the application or you type set generate false. And you can enter in that to stop mining. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to be it for this episode. Again, I totally recommend that you leave this on for a couple couple hours, couple minutes. Uh, get yourself a bunch of confirmed uh, like balance, and then you can actually try sending it. Uh, try sending it uh, like a regular transaction through the blockchain to your uh, your cloned wallet here, and uh, just see if it goes through. Uh, see, you know. Just mess around, really. Uh, play around. That this is the whole fun part of uh, of cryptocurrency is being able to actually like use your coin and send it and receive it, um, and maybe even get a friend to try this out. Uh, and as you can see here, actually, we also got a um, a little notification here that shows you uh, the day that we mined, how much we got, and this will fill up with recent transactions and and mining as you go. So yeah, you can see we mined another block here, and now we have a hundred vision. So awesome. In the next episode, because again, this is um, a temporary process. Uh, in the next few episodes, I will be showing you not only how to compile this wallet for Windows so that people on Windows can actually use this wallet, uh, but I will also be showing you how to set up a permanent node um, using a server, a virtual private server uh, on something like DigitalOcean or Amazon AWS. That way you can always have at least one node. Uh, oh, look, we, um, <laughs> we mined another block. Uh, that way you can always have at least one node running for your coin. Uh, and then in the final episode, I'll be showing you how to actually set up a block explorer to actually see all of the transactions uh, for your blockchain. So really cool stuff coming. Thanks for the patience and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.